I'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com. How you doing? Kevin Parsons. How you doing, Donnie? Good to see you, bro. Uh, new book, Soar. What brings you out tonight? Your thoughts? Well, black uh, boys. Yes, definitely black boys. I'm familiar with David Banks, uh, particularly from the Coalition Educating Schools with Boys of Color. Uh, we he and I met almost 10 years ago uh, down in New Orleans. Um, and of course, you know that I was doing work with boys at BDJ Academy. So I came out for this brother. Um, this good brother. I've been doing him for years. We've been at a number of national conferences. He's doing a great body of work in New York, educating boys, and has created his own school district. And so he's very visionary, very innovative uh, with his strategies around educating black boys, and as well as training teachers. Um, he went into that a little bit tonight uh, relative to his book. So I encourage everyone to get the book. If you're serious about doing a body of work around saving black boys, uh, this is one of the books I think you should have on your shelf. Okay. Well, let, let's, let's holler at David Miller. Your thoughts on this book? 49. David Miller, this book, Soar. So, um, Soar is a phenomenal piece written by David Banks, um, and it really talks about how we educate young men and how we build schools to educate young men. It is a must read for educators, for parents, for community leaders that really helps us crack the code in terms of producing. Um, this pipeline of highly educated young males coming from urban communities. You uh, fresh back from Africa on your way back to Africa, what's the flow? Man, you know, uh, I'm here. I'm, I'm here working on a couple projects. I've um, got a couple new books coming out. i um, got two or three children's books in the lab and have a major announcement I'm going to be making in Baltimore in the next two months. I'm getting ready to do a major project in Baltimore. Um, and so I'm going to be making a major announcement on Be More News in about another month or so. Yeah. How can people stay abreast of you? you know, Our new company, um, you know, we started the Urban Leadership Institute uh, over uh, almost two decades ago. Our new company is the Dare to Be King Project, where we're really, really focusing more on addressing and developing um, solutions to engage uh, young men of color, not just here, but also uh, abroad. I hear you're going to be staying in W.E.B. Du Bois's house in Ghana. Well, the next trip, I'm, I'm next time I go to Ghana in February, I'm going to be staying at Du Bois's house, going to be doing some writing and some traveling, um, you know, continue to do some of the work that we're doing in Ghana. And so I really want to make sure that Be More News dot com goes with us. Uh, well, we, we got to put this in there, e e Ebola. First victim, African, here in America. Yeah, I mean, I, I've heard it on the news. Um, again, like as any any other major disease that impacts people, I think that we have the resiliency and the skills to um, to address a boat. But I think we got to be vigilant. We got to be honest. We got to be more accurate about reporting. We got to make sure, from a community education standpoint. I mean, Ebola was going on while you were in Africa. Right. I left Ghana on the 17th and, um, you know, there was a, you know, I mean, it was, I mean, people were even nervous while we were traveling throughout the country. And so, again, I think a lot of it is really community education and prevention. Good deal. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth.